Here we're going to tie a streamer called the Double Bunny. First thing I did was I put some 025 or 030 lead wire down. Now what I'm going to do is just secure that lead wire by putting some thread wraps through the material. And I just go back and forth a few times. It doesn't have to be very pretty. It just has to keep the wire from sliding around, moving. We're going to cover it all up anyways. This fly can be tied in many different colors and sizes. Here I'm tying it, I think, in a size 4. I'm going to be tying a cream or a flesh colored double bunny. This imitates a bait fish or a minnow of some kind, but it can be tied in black, it can be tied in olive. You can tie it in crazy colors, you can tie them in dark purple, black. You can pretty much do whatever you want. So once you have your wire secure, I'm just going to take my thread. I'm going to wrap all the way back to the bend and just lay down a little thread base. I'm going to take my thread and go all the way up to the head here. Now the next thing to do is to start add, adding material and what I've done is I've cut a flesh or a white piece of rabbit zonkered so that the strip is straight off the top of the strip and uh, depending on how long of a fly you want to tie, uh, I usually tie them about one and a half times the length of the hook as far as to the end of the uh, actual hide there, the tail will extend a little bit farther out what we're going to do is we're just going to roughly measure that out then we're going to take our rabbit we're going to pierce the hide with our hook right in the middle of the hide then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and just thread it up the shank of the hook just like so and then I'm going to real quickly just trim the front portion off here about how long I want it and then we're going to lash down this piece of rabbit cut off a little bit more I'm just going to lash this down with a few wraps Once you have it in place, we're ready to add the top half of the fly. And uh, you can pick a color that you like for the top half. I'm going to be using a grizzly strip, which is very similar to the, the color that I just used. And we want to line these up so that they're the same exact length. And what I can do is strip out some of the fur away from the head that'll give me a spot to tie in with once I have it tied in I can trim out the the excess portion now I want to clean that up and lash lash it down nice and tight Just kind of build up a nice smooth head on this fly. And 
Now once I have the head all cleaned up, I'm just going to whip finish really fast. Trim out the excess. Now what we need to do is lash the two pieces together or glue them together. For that I'm going to use a product called Tear Mender. This product is flexible but it's a, like a super glue but it's flexible and permanent. If I was just to use regular super glue it would stiffen up the hide and make it very difficult to use. So I make sure I just have a tape paper towel handy. And what I'm actually going to do is I put a little bit in my paper towel and then I just take my needle and add it to the, the fly. I just add a little bit at a time. Got to be careful not to to overdo it here. And I add some to the hide as well, trying not to get any of the the actual fibers. Could also use a toothpick for this as well. Now once I have the tear mender applied, I'm going to carefully take that piece of hide. I'm going to lay it down onto the other portion. I'm just going to clamp down on it. Hold it there for a few seconds. And you can do a little bit of touch up work here too if you need to. I like to cover up the entire sides of the fly. There we go. Now we have the two pieces lashed together and they're going to be nice and flexible and they can move. That's the key to this material. Now the last thing to do is to add some eyes. I'm just going to add some 3D pupil eyes. I'm going to attach those with some super glue. What I actually do is I take my bodkin and I just stick the eye with it pretty easy way to handle these things. I just put some super glue on the inside of it. Then I just take that eye and just stick it where I want it, right on the side of the hook. 
press it in for a few seconds. Then you're ready to do the same thing on the other side. I also forgot to mention you can add a little bit of flash to the double bunny too. Some people like to add a little crystal flash to it. I tied this one without flash. I don't use a whole lot of flash in my double bunnies. And I try to make these eyes fairly even as far as centering and height and on each side. And that's all there is to a double bunny. Fairly easy streamer to tie. Has a nice wide profile. See it's nice and skinny too, just like a fish is. It's wide but narrow down the down the middle of it. And that's all there is to tying a double bunny. And a lot of people actually like to epoxy this head too. You could uh, do that. That locks in the eyes and gives the fly a more finished look on the head. You can finish it however that you like. That's the double bunny.